session for tonight. And as a VIP ticket holder, you have early access to the TV set and pick out the seat of your choice. Feel free to move around throughout the practice session. Tonight's event, would you help me welcome our very special guest coming all the way to Central Florida from Japan. Let me explain how this all came together. There's a TV station in Japan, it's called Kansai Television. They grant wishes to their viewers to make dreams come true. Our guest today submitted a wish to Paul at an official PBA event with PBA Pros. So at age Six, Sota Mizuno came in earlier today and is now bowling with all eight of our pros. I'm not even worried about your standards. So here comes Sota. Away. Let's give Sota a big hand. That looks good. Oh. Coming up next, we're going to have an interactive <laughs> Q&A with all of our pros. Do we'll you want to know what equipment is right. being used tonight? Any superstitions? Boom, time now to get to know our pros during this exclusive practice session. And think about a good question. While you're getting familiar with all the different seating options, I want you to know the bar is located at the bottom of the workshop. Are you here with friends and family? There's a photo booth on the concourse. Take photos home with you as a souvenir from tonight's event. Next three hours. So don't forget your VIP ticket it comes with dinner that will be available in about half an hour. So let's get this VIP Q&A underway without any more initials. Okay. <laughs> While we're thinking of questions for all of our pros, I've got a question. I'll get things started off, and I'm going to start with Chris Trainer. Chris, tell me what it's like to win your very first PDA title. Uh-oh, that was a little hard. Smooth enough. Not too quick. So for it to finally happen, it's a little bit of a win. Said Simon, don't jump me. I have a big grab. Very, very confident myself. Oh, he's looking at the regular way. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> even a <the>, kid knows. <laughs> That's how it's done right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just, uh, you know, I got very comfortable and was able to uh, carry that one in on the left. Take me to that moment <laughs> when you won it for the first time and describe the situation and how you got the win and how that way was lifted. What was the situation when you knew you won? Well, when we were in Detroit, the pair that we were all on was just insane. The left lane, we got kind of long and high and every single time. So you just had to be back and sit on that. The initial focus was brought to the next level. So when I needed, when I realized that all I needed was a mark to win, and I was just, when I was more pinned, I was just like, all right, all we have to do is knock it over. It doesn't matter how hard. Just knock it over, and the little bit of celebration that you saw was really all I could muster. I was so exhausted, and I was just relieved that it was over, and I finally accomplished my dream. Who uh, who got to you first? Who was the first text? Um, that's tough. I want to say my wife, but I honestly don't remember because there were about twenty-five or thirty. So we're gonna go with my wife. <laughs> 